Good morning, everyone. Greetings and salutations. Hope you're having a blessed Saturday because it looks pretty bad here. It is just below freezing and snowing up a storm. And I would show you all pictures, but you all know what snow looks like by now, I'm sure. And if you're in one of those snowless countries, take a piece of white paper, draw a couple stick trees in it randomly. That's what I see outside. Sorry about uh, the video mix up last night. So I put up these videos and then I forget to mark them as public. And I go around advertising them that they're up, and some people can't look at them, I guess, because uh, they don't have the click on link for them. So some of you miss it, but uh, yeah, I did a reading earlier this week, uh, what was it, Tuesday, and last night I just realized that I'd forgotten to post it, and then I did one yesterday, of course, and uh, I posted yesterday's first, and then I saw that uh, Tuesday's hadn't been posted, so I went and posted it, and it came up after the one I posted yesterday. Well, these cards are just so big. It's funny. I love them, but it's like... Trying to shuffle them is there's just no easy way around it. Oh, hold on. Maybe I'm getting some somewhere. Boy, I'm really I'm really stretching those fingers though. Okay, I think that's good. Let's see what we've gotten today. Will it be something good? Yesterday's was pretty good, so uh, let's just hope it keeps up the, the roll here. You have the Nine of Swords. Now, this is sometimes referred to as the Nightmare card um, because it represents worry, anxiety, and a troubled mental state, hopelessness, and misery. Now, this card is uh, associated with the element air. Astrologically, it's Mars in Gemini. It represents the number nine numerologically. On the Tree of Life, it's Yesod, the sphere of foundation and the unconscious mind. And this card is often refers, you know, to waking up in a nightmare in the middle of the night, um, showing that you're dealing with high levels of anxiety. Um, you may have suffered an illness and the resulting low energy or shock or a buildup of minor stress that begins to disrupt your sleep patterns and peace of mind. External events such as these may have triggered the initial stress, but the issue now is how you are responding to it. In work, the Nine of Swords can show feeling overwhelmed. You simply have too much to do. The Nine of Swords occasionally comes up in a reading to show mental health issues associated with anxiety, such as a panic disorder, uh, anxiety, depression, uh, insomnia, and nightmares, of course. And uh, in relationship, this card represents unhappiness. It can also indicate a habit of worrying. So you may be worrying about inconsequential things that don't warrant your attention. But uh, since this is a minor card, this pattern will only be temporary. That's the good news. 
All right. Now let's pair this up with a Moonology card and see what we get. Oh, I left one. And you know what? I bet this is the one that's supposed to be pulled. No. Full moon in Aries. A fiery climax approaches. It's time to see if you've been a little bit too much. Me, me, me. There's a tug of war going on between what you want and what someone else wants. But you'll have to wait a little while to see what's going to happen next. As you wait, ask yourself if you've been handling the situation as sensitively as you could. If you know down deep that you've been a little rash or harsh, gone too fast, or overstepped the mark, then accept that on some level. You've created the situation yourself, which means you can create your way out of it too. When this card comes up, a peak is coming, and it could be fiery. Be nice, be kind, smile, and be polite as you navigate to where you want to be. Being assertive is good. Just don't ride roughshod over anyone. If you're in a tense situation, mediate your way to peace. Don't be a baby. Sorry, but this could be the issue. You need to have more fun. The full moon in Aries is a super fiery time when emotions can run very high. On the upside, there's excitement about what may be ahead, but tempers are likely to flare with rash comments or decisions. No matter when you pull this card, it signals that the situation has just, or is about to, come to a peak, perhaps in a rather heated way. There could be a price to pay if you have been too competitive or too blunt. All right, and so what I get from these, you've gotten yourself into a situation, and it's a rough, passionate time, and I don't mean passionate as in good, but passionate as in fiery anger, and what you're getting from the whole situation is stress, anxiety, worry, nightmares, it's bothering you so you need to somehow straighten out this situation to bring this to an end all right hope that makes sense well that's all i have for you today i'll have to work on uh, getting some more stuff together not sure if we'll be doing a video tomorrow um because we have uh, probable plans on filming tomorrow. I say probable because, hey, stuff happens, you know. Life happens. And you wouldn't know. There's snow on the ground today. Tomorrow is supposed to be in the 50s or so. Upper 40s, low 50s, somewhere in there. But anyway... Wish us luck on our trip if we go tomorrow. Hope we catch some really good stuff. But until next time, uh, probably, it'll probably be Monday. Who knows if this falls through. I might do one tomorrow, too. But uh, next video will probably be on Monday. And uh, then I'll let you know. If we got anything good, I should know by then. Anyway, you have a blessed day. Peace. Believe because the spirits are out there. And we're going to pay them a visit tomorrow. So until next time, bye-bye.
is that you've gotten yourself into a situ situation, yes. You've gotten yourself into a situation, and 